We've heard way too much about cheaper batteries, faster charging, 1,000-mile range breakthroughs that are supposedly going to take electric vehicles to the next level, but most of them end up being nothing more than empty promises that never make it into mass production. Out of all these ideas, solid-state batteries are easily the most promising. At the same time, they've also become the most boring to hear about, simply because they're still nowhere near large-scale production, despite countless companies showing off prototypes with impressive specs and eye-catching energy density numbers. We mean, at this point, whenever solid-state batteries come up, people tend to react with a healthy dose of skepticism. But this time, we might actually have a reason to believe the hype, not because solid-state batteries suddenly sound more convincing, but because a reputable manufacturer, Donut Lab, has officially announced mass production. And that's why tech media all over the world are buzzing right now. These are being called the first solid-state batteries you can actually buy today, instead of having to wait until 2030 like so many previous announcements promised. According to Donut Lab, these batteries could significantly improve range, lifespan, and charging speed for everything from electric cars and motorcycles to heavy trucks and construction equipment. So why is this the most credible solid-state battery we've seen so far? And what exactly makes it special? Okay, we'll get to Donut Lab in more detail later, because this battery really needs to be explained first. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries that rely on a liquid electrolyte, Donut Lab's technology completely eliminates it. And yeah, the name kind of says it all. Solid-state batteries use a solid electrolyte instead. According to Donut Lab, this new battery reaches an energy density of 400 watt-hours per kilogram, which is a huge jump compared to the 250 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram you see in today's top-tier lithium-ion batteries. With Donut Battery, we set a new baseline, 400 watt-hours per kilogram. So far, Tesla's most advanced 4680 battery is only used in the Cybertruck, and even that tops out at just under 300 watt-hours per kilogram. We are not 100% sure, but the latest number we remember is around 272 watt-hours per kilogram. Meanwhile, BYD's well-known LFP blade battery maxes out at about 175 watt-hours per kilogram. That means solid-state batteries are getting close to double the energy density. And yeah, they'd be significantly lighter than both of those options. By now, you probably see why this matters. Most EVs on the road today use LFP batteries. Around 60% of electric vehicles globally run on LFP. The rest use NCA or NMC, which are typically found in higher-end models. LFP is popular because it's cheap and very stable, but its energy density almost never goes past 200 watt-hours per kilogram. So let's say your car currently uses an LFP pack, and you replace it with Donut Lab's solid-state battery. What happens? A 200-mile range suddenly becomes 400 miles, or even more. Realistically speaking, Tesla's best-selling vehicle, the Model Y, currently offers up to 357 miles of range with what's believed to be a 75-kilowatt-hour NMC battery pack. Now imagine buying a Model Y with a range north of 700 miles. Okay, that might sound a little far-fetched, but if Tesla were to partner with Donut Lab, we honestly think it could happen sooner than you'd expect. Elon Musk has never been shy about spending money on better batteries, as long as they deliver on energy density and cost. And sure, we're not even talking about pricing yet, but purely from an energy density standpoint, this is already incredibly compelling. That's the real advantage of high energy density batteries. Put simply, higher energy density means a lighter battery pack and a car that can go much farther on a single charge. So why is this the first solid state battery to actually reach mass production? Let's hear directly from Donut Lab's CEO. So the obvious question is, are we shipping this in 2029 or 2030? No. These batteries are available today. Not just available for OEMs to look at in the lab, and not just available to prototype with, but available for real production. Like we mentioned earlier, solid-state batteries are the holy grail everyone wants, but getting there is anything but easy. The technical challenges are incredibly complex, and the costs involved have forced many manufacturers to walk away because scaling up just isn't viable. We'll break that down in more detail in a moment. According to Donut Lab, 
their solid-state batteries are already available at gigawatt-hour scale production capacity for companies around the world, something almost no one else has been able to pull off. In fact, today we are making history because Donut Battery is the world's first solid-state battery in production vehicles shipping to customers. And it's not just about the 400 watt-hours per kilogram energy density. Donut Lab also claims their solid-state battery cells can be fully charged in around five minutes, delivering an experience that's comparable to filling up a gas tank. This pack charges from zero to full in as low as five minutes. As low as five minutes and still built for longevity. This number isn't just a technical milestone. It directly addresses the so-called range anxiety that's been holding the EV industry back for over a decade. At this charging speed, drivers would only need a short break before the car is ready for another long journey of hundreds of kilometers. The secret behind Donut Lab's ultra-fast charging lies in its sulfide-based solid electrolyte structure. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries, which risk overheating when pushed with extremely high charging currents, Donut Lab's solid material has exceptional thermal stability. It allows lithium ions to move at almost mind-blowing speeds without melting the separator or triggering harmful side chemical reactions. This effectively breaks the physical limits of today's liquid electrolyte batteries, which are typically capped at 20 to 40 minutes of charging in order to protect cell lifespan. Now, charging a battery in just five minutes requires an enormous amount of power, likely at least one megawatt. That's our estimate, since Donut Lab hasn't disclosed exact numbers. Still, the company claims that despite these extreme charging speeds, the battery is designed to maintain long-term durability and cell longevity. Donut battery is designed differently. It's designed for 100,000 cycles. Now, that's not just better cycle life. That's an entirely different category. Yeah, and beyond the fact that it can fully charge in just five minutes, the battery's lifespan is just as shocking. Donut Lab claims it can handle up to 100,000 charge cycles without needing to cap charging at 80% like older battery technologies do to protect long-term health. To put that into perspective, Donut Lab compares its solid-state battery to both standard and high-end lithium batteries. Typical lithium-ion batteries in use today, like LFP packs, usually last around 1,000 to 1,500 cycles before significant degradation kicks in. That translates to roughly three to five years of heavy daily use. Even higher-end lithium batteries such as NMC, NCA, or Tesla's 4680 cells, which are used in premium electric vehicles, generally top out at around 5,000 cycles. Now, with 100,000 charge cycles, this battery could theoretically last longer than the chassis of a car or even the engine of a motorcycle. If you charged it once a day, it would take more than 270 years to use up all those cycles. We genuinely hope we're not misunderstanding something here. If this doesn't sound right to you, let us know in the comments. So yeah, pushing durability limits by 20 to 100 times isn't a minor improvement. It's a full-on materials science breakthrough. A battery that can survive 100,000 charge and discharge cycles would be a game changer for consumers and for the entire EV ecosystem. In theory, you could drive up to 10 million miles on a single EV battery. Normally, battery degradation after 5 to 10 years is one of the biggest concerns with electric vehicles, since range slowly but steadily drops over time. And battery replacements aren't cheap either. Today, replacing an EV battery can cost anywhere from $5,000 to $16,000, depending on the battery size, the manufacturer, and the vehicle model. Yeah, it's expensive. And that's a big reason why a lot of people still hesitate to buy an EV. So how exactly did Donut Lab manage to achieve such a massive leap in battery lifespan? We'll try to explain this in the simplest way possible. In traditional liquid-based batteries, every single charge and discharge cycle triggers unwanted side chemical reactions. The liquid electrolyte reacts with the electrodes, forming buildup layers and slowly consuming usable lithium over time. That's exactly why so many companies have been racing to develop solid-state batteries. Donut Lab's solid-state battery likely uses an extremely stable solid ion conducting material. This completely eliminates those side reactions, allowing lithium ions to move back and forth hundreds of thousands of times without changing the battery's internal structure. 
that level of stability means no swelling, no leaking, and capacity that stays almost intact for decades. But Donut Lab doesn't stop there. They're aiming for something almost unreal, a truly all-around battery. High energy density, ultra-fast charging, long lifespan, and on top of that, they claim the battery won't catch fire even if it's damaged. As we all know, one of the biggest challenges for EV batteries is performance across different temperatures. In liquid electrolyte lithium batteries, cold weather increases the electrolyte's viscosity, making lithium ions move like they're stuck in mud. That's why range can drop by 20 to 40 percent in winter, and charging takes much longer. But instead of taking our word for it, let's hear what Donut Lab's CEO has to say. And at minus 30 degrees Celsius, Donut battery retains over 99 percent of its capacity. And if you push in the opposite direction, heating the cells beyond 100 degrees Celsius, that's 200 Fahrenheit. The result stays the same, over 99% capacity retention. Oh my God, Donut Lab's solid state battery is designed to retain over 99% of its capacity, even in extreme conditions. From deep cold at minus 30 degrees Celsius to scorching heat of up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And honestly, that temperature range alone would either freeze solid or set fire to just about any conventional lithium-ion battery pack. We've seen and read plenty about solid-state batteries from companies other than Donut Lab, and one thing we know is that solid electrolytes are non-flammable and act as a strong physical barrier against thermal runaway. Still, 200 degrees Fahrenheit is insanely hot, you know. Yet according to the company's CEO, this battery is safe enough that there's no risk of fire, even in the event of physical damage. On top of that, the batteries can be manufactured almost anywhere in the world because they don't rely on rare or exotic materials. So the big question is, is this solid-state battery actually affordable? Donut Lab hasn't disclosed exactly which materials are used to build its solid-state cells, but the company says the battery is fully environmentally friendly and made from materials that are widely available. Most high-performance lithium-ion batteries today still rely on cobalt and nickel. Cobalt mining is often linked to serious human rights concerns in the Congo, while the global nickel supply chain is largely controlled by just a handful of countries. So the fact that Donut Lab's solid-state battery reportedly does not use nickel or cobalt means it's far less exposed to geopolitical risk. Donut Lab also claims its solid-state cells are cheaper to produce than comparable lithium-ion batteries. While exact numbers haven't been shared, this is an encouraging sign that the technology could show up in mid-range vehicles, not just high-end models, in the near future. Okay, all of this sounds great, but we get it. By this point, most of you are probably still skeptical. That said, Donut Lab is a highly credible company, and it appears their solid-state batteries are already moving beyond the lab and into real-world use. Based on what we know so far, the upgraded Verge TS Pro electric motorcycle is expected to become the world's first commercial vehicle powered entirely by Donut Lab's solid-state battery. The first customer deliveries are scheduled for the first quarter of this year. On the Verge TS Pro, switching to solid-state batteries delivers a very noticeable upgrade. With the same physical battery space, the new high-capacity option boosts the riding range from about 217 miles to 370 miles. Real-world charging time on the bike is also cut to under 10 minutes. According to Donut Lab's CEO, while solid-state batteries are often viewed as a far-off future technology, their solution is already ready for OEMs to integrate directly into existing production lines today. Now, going back to why most manufacturers still can't produce solid-state batteries at scale, there are actually several reasons. The biggest challenge lies at the interface level. Unlike liquid electrolytes, which easily wet and fully cover electrode surfaces, Solid materials struggle to maintain perfect atomic level contact. This leads to higher internal resistance and makes the battery more prone to cracking as it expands and contracts during charging and discharging. On top of that, lithium dendrites can still penetrate solid electrolytes and cause short circuits, which requires extremely advanced material solutions to prevent. From an economic standpoint, solid state battery manufacturing is incredibly demanding. It requires ultra-dry room environments and extremely high assembly pressures, meaning existing lithium-ion production lines simply can't be reused. Above all, we hope this gave you a much deeper understanding of solid-state batteries. The wait may finally be over, 
because solid-state technology is poised to solve nearly all of the core weaknesses of today's electric vehicles, starting as early as this year. First is energy density. At 400 watt-hours per kilogram, and potentially pushing toward 500 watt-hours per kilogram in future generations, EVs could realistically double their driving range without increasing battery size or weight. This directly eliminates range anxiety, the biggest psychological barrier holding many people back from switching to electric. Once an EV can travel 500 or 600 miles on a single charge, even while towing a trailer and still remaining efficient, internal combustion engines lose almost all of their real-world advantages. Second is charging speed and durability. The ability to recharge in just minutes and withstand tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of charge cycles is truly revolutionary. The battery is no longer a consumable component that needs replacing after a few years. Instead, it can last the entire lifetime of the vehicle and potentially far beyond. This dramatically lowers long-term ownership costs, increases the resale value of used EVs, and completely changes how consumers think about the durability of electric vehicles. At the same time, stable performance in extreme cold and extreme heat makes EVs viable in virtually any climate, from frozen regions to scorching deserts. With this kind of lifespan, a solid-state battery could stay with a vehicle for a hundred years without significant capacity loss. Even when regularly charged to 100%, performance remains stable, something current battery technologies simply can't match. And this is a huge deal. Today's EV owners are often told to limit charging to 80% to preserve battery health, which adds inconvenience and anxiety. Once that limitation disappears, the EV experience becomes simpler, more intuitive, and much closer to what drivers are used to with ICE cars. A longer battery lifespan also brings clear economic benefits. Battery replacement costs, one of the biggest concerns for consumers, are nearly eliminated. As a result, used EVs retain their value much better, helping accelerate the growth of the second-hand electric vehicle market. From an environmental standpoint, longer-lasting batteries mean fewer new batteries need to be produced, which reduces resource extraction and industrial waste. That said, the exceptional lifespan of solid-state batteries also introduces new challenges. Recycling systems will need to adapt to new materials and battery structures. Manufacturers will also have to prove this level of durability under real-world, long-term use, not just in laboratory conditions. Still, if these lifespan claims hold up, solid-state batteries could become a key factor in making electric vehicles more sustainable and more economical than internal combustion cars over the long run. So, are solid-state batteries the end of the internal combustion engine? We think they'll certainly accelerate that transition, and by 2035, internal combustion engines could be largely obsolete. As Tesla fans, we're genuinely excited about the future of battery technology, especially solid-state batteries. Tesla has long been seen as a symbol of innovation in the EV industry, not just in design or software, but in its bold approach to batteries and the broader energy ecosystem. That's why we're hopeful that Elon Musk and the Tesla team will seriously consider researching and investing in solid-state battery technology in the years ahead. What solid-state batteries promise, higher energy density, extremely long lifespan, ultra-fast charging, and stability in extreme temperatures, fits perfectly with Tesla's long-term vision. Building electric vehicles that outperform internal combustion cars in every way that matters. So what do you think about Donut Lab's solid-state battery? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more insights and stay charged for what's next. Goodbye.